in this session we are going to discuss about the anomalous expansion of water see anomalous expansion means it's an abnormal normally what happens that won't happen here uh, we know that on heating the water expands and by cooling the water contracts but coming to this anomalous expansion of water it will be quite different from that that means <coughs> on heating in general on heating what happened to liquids or what happened to water liquids expand in the same way water also will expand but on heating uh, if you consider from 0 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius the water instead of expanding it will contract it will contract and from 4 degree celsius to 100 degree celsius it will expand in a general way but 0 to 4 a different thing happens that it contracts in the same way on cooling on cooling the water from 100 degree celsius to 4 degree celsius we know the water contracts but from 0 degree celsius to 1 de sorry uh, 4 degree celsius to 0 degree celsius it expands see uh, we may sometimes observe when you fill a bottle completely with water and if, if you place the bottle into the deep freeze sometimes the bottle will break the reason is uh, you consider the temperature of water at room temperature is at, at most 25 or 30 25 to 30 but when you are placing into the deep freeze the temperature inside deep freeze is 0 degrees so up to that 5 degrees celsius the water will contract but after that 5 degree uh, what happens is 0 to 0 to 4 or 4 to 0 will cooling now so 0 to 4 to 0 it expands and due to that expansion uh, if you we are filling the bottle completely now so the bottle will break due to that expansion and in general <coughs> we know that if the temperature increases if the temperature increases volume also will increase and what happened to density see we know that density d equal to mass upon volume that means density is inversely proportional to volume that means if the volume increases the density will decrease and if you decrease the temperature volume will decrease as well and density will increase increasing temperature increases volume and decreases density decrease in temperature decreases volume and increases in density now let us see and in some cold countries if the temperatures will be uh, will become up to 0 degree celsius and it will be in some minus degree celsius also in cold countries as well as in winter but how the aquatic animals survive their life we know that at 0 degree celsius the water be become solidifies and becomes as ice so in ice no aquatic animals can live they will freeze in the ice but how they are going to survive so they are able to survive in that cold countries due to this anomalous expansion of water itself so let me consider this as a pond and in this pond there is water <coughs> uh, 
and I am considering at that area the temperature is 10 degrees Celsius and further the temperature is gradually decreasing and let me consider that the temperature decreases up to 4 degrees. So what happened from this 10 degree to 4 degree here temperature is decreasing temperature decreasing means volume also will decrease and density will increase. So here for upper layer when it is decreasing from 10 to 4 the density will increase and we know that the water with high density will get down and the water with less density will come up. So this layer will fall down and up to what extent it will happen um, up to uh, uh, this uh, high density will fall down and low density will come up. So in, in cycle way it will form like that. After that after 4 you consider 4 to 0 degree. What happens is when the temperature reaches to 4 then this anonymous expansion of water takes place. See on cooling 4 to 0 water expands. Water expands in the sense volume is increasing that means density will decrease. So here what happens is volume will increase and the density will decrease. So low density surface will remain there itself and here let uh, consider the temperature is 4 degree Celsius. This surface reaches to 4 degree Celsius. So from 4 degree to 0 degree what happens is water expands due to this anonymous expansion. Why this anonymous expansion takes place? See we know that the molecular formula of uh, water is H2O and H2O sometimes H2O forms as two molecules and sometimes H2O forms as three molecules and these molecules will be in some percentages. If these percentages uh, interchanges like uh, H2O single molecule as uh, 20 percent H2O, H2O two molecules has some 40 percent and H2O three molecules has some 60. Uh, these percentages won't be still same. They will uh, interchange and they will the percentages will change. So due to this change of this uh, percentages of H2O, the anonymous expansion of water takes place. So here, what happens is. 4 to 0 when it comes to 4 to 0 expansion takes place and here you consider the temperature becomes 0 degree Celsius and it at 0 degree Celsius the water becomes ice and we know that ice is a bad conductor of heat and it won't allow the temperature down or it won't allow the heat to pass up. So what happens is here the temperature will be 1 degree Celsius and bottom 2 and bottom 3 and finally here 4 degree Celsius will be stored. That means these all will be in liquid state and only here we can see the solid state which is ice. So here ice will be there and here water will be there. So in this water the aquatic animals will survive there lives as the ice is the bad conductor of heat it won't allow the heat to flow through it and not only that we know that ice density is less than water so due to that ice floats on water so ice will remain here itself and down water will be same as usual so due to that the aquatic animals will survive their life